Hi everybody, welcome back to Dance Mama Dance or welcome if you are new. I am just taking you on a quick walk around our house. We are getting our carpet that was affected by our flood replaced today. So they are replacing the carpet in this room. Somehow you guys, 850 square feet in this house and we have a California king size bed. It takes up almost the entire room, but our dog sleeps with us and it's the only way that works. So here, this is so crazy. I have been following the minimalists for a really long time and one of their creators, Ryan Nicodemus, he did a what's it called, um, where he packed up all his stuff and then figured out if he actually needed anything that was packed. I definitely feel like that right now <laughs> because I can almost hear my echo in this room, it's crazy. This giant cabinet, we're gonna have um, my husband and the carpet guys move out. It's just really tall and I have a hard time moving. But look what came. I'm so excited. If you're following me on Instagram at Dance Mama Dance, I have been posting about wanting a retro refrigerator. So when we first bought our house five years ago, we had no appliances. We had nothing in this house. It was completely empty. And we kind of went into panic mode, which is something I would not advise on. And we bought these very large, white, clunky appliances. They are around 30 by 30 and they're huge. They don't fit in the kitchen. They are just, they kind of stick out. So one of my issues with replacing the carpet was we have such a tiny house. Our dining area is in the main area and I don't want to ruin this brand new carpet that we're, you know, spending a bunch of money on. So I wanted to reconfigure our kitchen setup so that we can get rid of these appliances, these big appliances. So we're actually trying to donate them right now. We're having a little bit of a trouble with donating the stove. Apparently no one wants stoves, <laughs> which is crazy. It's a great brand and there's nothing wrong with it, but it just doesn't serve our needs. And I do not bake. If you know me in real life, I can't bake. <laughs> I, it's just a hot mess every time I try. So we're definitely trying to donate these. I've contacted like Habitat for Humanity and unfortunately they turned me down. So I was kind of bummed about that, but we'll figure out a nice home for these to go to so that they are not wasted or just thrown in the garbage. Um, so I am minimizing <laughs> our appliances and mm, we're kind of nervous but I'm super excited I've always kind of felt like my refrigerator you guys saw my clean out had to be full and I feel like now I can just have what I actually need in it rather than letting things get pushed all the way to the back and get expired so this is the before <laughs> Look at this mess, you guys. This is what we've been, we've been dealing with like since this happened. Now, obviously, when my son is home, all of this is covered up so like he doesn't hurt himself by any means. But it's a mess. It's bad. Like, um, it is crazy how long it takes to get things um, delivered and whatnot. So this is my son's room. This is the majority of our stuff is in here. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful a couple days ago when I cleaned it all out. But here it is. <laughs> the vast majority of our stuff fit in here, which I was really proud of because we've been on this minimalism journey for about a year now and we've really taken it very seriously and it's really benefited our lives. So stay tuned. I will hopefully get some filming in when the carpet guys are actually installing the new carpet and it's gonna be great. I can't wait to show you guys the after. Because of all the noise and us having such a small house, our dog did have to spend the day in my son's room, but she did get an awesome incentive. She got to sleep on his bed the whole day, and that's definitely not something that we normally allow, so she was happy and content.
it was really crazy to see the carpet installation and to see how big our living room seemed when it was completely emptied out. I mentioned earlier in this video that we did rush to get appliances and make some quick moves when we first bought our house five years ago. The one thing we didn't rush on was the floor. We really tried to see if it was possible to redo the hardwood floors. They are original to the home when it was built in 1928. Unfortunately, the person that we bought the house from was a landlord and after so many years of renting out the home, the floors were just trashed. They were replaced in certain spots and damaged, which is why we went with the carpet. We are planning to also paint the entire house, but that will be a project for a different day. At this point, we just wanted to get things a little more back to normal after being torn up for so long. I had a message on Instagram recently asking why I chose Dance Mama Dance as the title for my channel and why it's my username on Instagram. And it's because when Tyler was really little, we used to have dance parties to Pandora and he used to shout at me, dance mama, dance. And it was just adorable. It kind of stuck. We still have some work to do in here, but I wanted to show you my bathroom so far. We still need to patch some walls and paint, but I wanted to show you some of these cool details. This little tractor is from Hobby Lobby, along with the little black stool, and this shelf over here. I absolutely love it. I found this canvas black and white tractor at Hobby Lobby also. The light is from Amazon. And this is a cool little command hook. I actually found this at Target the other day. And the faucet and the vanity are from Wayfair. So I absolutely love how this is turning out and hopefully it will be done soon. I'll definitely go into my minimizing appliances in a future video, but I did want to give you guys a little peek at what is in here. I have been using this for about three days now and have not once felt like I didn't have something that I needed and had to go out and get something out of the big fridge in the garage. That is going to be it for this video everyone i hope you enjoyed it please make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next one